What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to flash and install a uh, Jelly Bean ROM. It is based off Liquid Smooth. It's not the official Liquid Smooth ROM, but it's a developer unofficial made uh, on XDA forums. Now, this ROM is meant for the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for the AT&T network, and for the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for the Rogers network. And to know what your, photo, uh, sorry, your phone model number is, you go to your phone system settings, all the way down to about phone, and here, it should say something like SGH-I727, or if you're on the Rogers network, it'll say dash I727R. Uh, I'm running the Rogers version. Uh, you can't really see the logo, but you'll have to take my word for it. The reason I have the, the AT&T model is because I flashed Sanogen Mod 9. Um, I will list the exact model numbers this video is meant for in the description below. Your model number of your phone must match one of the two uh, model numbers in the description. If not, please turn off this video because this could really screw up your device. Furthermore, by attempting to flashing this ROM, if something goes wrong, um, it's your own it's your own fault because you're following this video at your own risk. I take no responsibility if something goes wrong. And not only that, props for letting me know about this ROM goes to YouTube member DMSI Touch Help. Uh, they sent me a personal message and told me, yo, can you show how to install this ROM? I don't usually deal with unstable ROMs, but he he or she uh, did tell me that it's stable for the most part. So that's why I'm giving it a shot. And who doesn't want Jelly Bean on their device ASAP, right? Okay, so uh, you must be rooted and you must have Clockwork Mod recovery installed. It's recommended that you have Clockwork Mod Touch recovery installed. Now, this is the confusing part, so pay attention. If you're running the Rogers version of the Samsung Galaxy S2 and you you have Android Gingerbread on it and you want to know how to root, follow the video link here. Um, if you have the AT&T or Rogers version of the Galaxy S2 and you want to load Clockwork Mod recovery, follow the video link here. For those of you on the ATT network and you're running uh, the Skyrocket with Gingerbread, I don't have a root method for that, so I apologize. Um, but honestly, sh everyone should have upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich by now because ATT and Rogers have an official Ice Cream Sandwich update available. And if you're running that official update, the Ice Cream Sandwich update from Rogers or ATT, and you want to root and install Clockwork Mod Recovery, follow the video link here. And this video. Um, might be a little slow for those of you who are used to installing ROMs, but for absolute newbies here, I'm going to help you out. Samsung keys. If you are having trouble with your phone not being recognized on your computer, just go to Google, type in Samsung keys like I did here, click the first link, and just do a download for Windows or Mac, whatever you're running. The Samsung keys app, if your phone has it, does nothing for drivers, okay? You must install the app I, I just showed you how to do. Search it on Google. You must have the drivers installed. And from here, what you need to do is go to this forum link, which I will put in the description below. <clears throat> He's going to scroll down slightly and they say that you don't you don't have you can ignore flashing the kernel, so don't worry about that. What you're gonna do is where it says how to flash, there's something called Flash G Apps. And this is a link you can click to download files. Click it, open it, download it, you're gonna get this uh, zip file. And then just below that it should say something like here's a download, that's the ROM. Click it, open it, again, download it. I just put it in any random folder on my desktop here, as you can see. Do not unzip them. Leave them as they are, okay? And uh, let's connect my phone to the computer now. So before we continue any further, there's a couple things I forgot to mention. I'm going to try to say them really quick because I don't make this video too long. If you have any trouble with installing this ROM, please do not ask me. Ask the developer of this method the in the forum link I mentioned before. I am not the developer. I most likely cannot help you, so ask in this forum thread. Furthermore, if something changes, like uh, uh, say the, the links are changed or something like that, I can't update this video. I simply can't. Once it's on YouTube, I can't change it or edit it. So what I suggest you do is you check the description. If there's an update you should know about, I'll update the description because I can do that. But 
Regardless, read the entire description for model numbers and links and this and that before following this video any further, okay? Read the entire description. I can't emphasize that enough. Before continuing any further, I'm going to make a demo video uh, going over the pros and cons, what works, what doesn't. I'll put that in the description below as well, or you can just simply click this link here, and I'll link it again at the end of this video. Please watch that video first before continuing because I'll go over what problems there are present, um, because I'll be using this for a while before I upload it, okay? So, without the warnings, uh, or sorry, with the warnings done rather, you just simply connect your phone to your computer, nothing fancy, go to my computer, find your phone, open the memory, you have a whole bunch of folders, and at this point, you're going to take the two, get out of here, minimize, the two files you downloaded, the zip files, copy it, and paste it. I know some people might be like, yo, why are you showing this step? A lot of people still don't know how to copy and paste files to an Android device because they might be new to it. Uh, furthermore, at this point, we're going to be erasing everything off the phone except for your internal memory card, which is like your pictures, your music, that'll be fine. But the Android system itself, like your apps, your data within the apps will be erased. If you want to know how to back them up and restore them, follow the video here. Okay, you must have annotation links on throughout this video to know what's going on. So what we're going to do is, when this is finished copying pasting, we're going to boot into Clockroom Auto Recovery and flash the actual ROM. It's really easy from here on out, okay? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to boot into Clockroom Auto Recovery. Uh, like I said, I'm running the Rogers version. Uh, can you see the logo? I think now you can. Um, I assume booting into Clockroom Auto Recovery is the same for the Skyrocket. Um, if not, just Google it, you'll find the result. To boot into Clockroom Auto Recovery, power off your device, which I already did. You must press and hold both volume buttons at the same time and the power button at the same time. When the phone vibrates, let go of the uh, power button, but continue to hold the volume buttons, okay? I'll show you, I'll demonstrate it right now. So I'm holding both volume buttons, now the power button, phone just vibrated, I let go of the power button, but I'm still holding the volume buttons. I'm saying buttons a lot, I don't know if I said that correctly just now, get my words mixed up. Okay, so uh, this is clock remote recovery, and like I said, if you want to know how to back up your stuff, that video I, I pointed out earlier shows you how to do this step. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is wipe everything on your phone. Um, and as I'm doing this, if for some reason it doesn't focus, I'll be reading every menu option I select out loud. Okay? So you guys know exactly what to do. So the first thing you need to do is wipe data factory reset. I'm going to do this step twice just to be safe, uh, to, to make sure that everything is wiped correctly. Nowhere in the original instructions you have to do any of these steps repeatedly. I'm doing each step twice just to be safe. Wipe data factory reset again. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is wipe cache partition. Let's see if make sure you guys can see this. If not, I'm reading it out anyway. Wipe cache partition. Again, do this step twice. Okay, at this point, you're going to hit advanced and wipe Dalvik cache and do this step twice. As you can see, it's really fast. Oh, and to make sure, in case you're seeing a whole bunch of no's, just scroll down and you'll see it there properly, okay? Uh, now I go back. Okay, now this is the part that we're gonna actually in start installing the ROM. So what I'm gonna do is hit install zip from SD card. If you have an external SD card and you put the two zip files there, all you do is select the first option, which is say choose zip from SD card. If you put it on your um, internal SD card, then what you're gonna do, which is your internal memory rather. So as I said, uh, I put mine in my internal memory, which is my internal SD card. So I'm gonna select choose zip from internal SD card. You're gonna see a whole bunch of folders. That's like your pictures, music and stuff. You're gonna go all the way down, ignore that stuff. And you should have the two zip files you downloaded earlier. Ignore the one that says gapps-jb, something like that, okay? You're gonna install the one that says liquid-jb-whatever version you download at the time. And then you're going to scroll down, hit yes. This is installing the actual ROM. Uh, when it's done, we'll continue from there. Okay, so once it finished on its own, it said installation complete, and it took me back to this screen automatically, uh, where you can uh, choose to install zip. Again, what are you going to do at this point is select where you have your zip file. Mine is in internal, so I'm going to select internal uh, SD card. Go all the way down again. And the reason we're repeating this particular step is because this time, we're going to select the zip file where it says... Um, gapps. 
sorry, gapps-jb. Okay, that's the one we're gonna install. And this is basically the Google Apps, like uh, Google Play, Gmail app. It, for some reason, he had to do it separately, but whatever, you gotta flash it, right, to get the full potential of your Android device. And we'll continue once that's done. Okay, uh, it's done. It says, install from SD card complete. And keep in mind, this is the first time I'm doing this ROM flash myself, so hopefully everything works. And, uh, oh, I should've showed you that step. So when you go back here, all you're gonna select is go back. Then at the top, it says reboot system now, do that. And fingers crossed everything works well, because like I said, this is my first time. at and uh, users have, many of them have confirmed it to work on the Skyrocket. Uh, only a handful of uh, Rogers Galaxy S2 users have confirmed it to work, and I'm now one of the few, it looks like it's working. Uh, so it looks like it's booting up. Um, remember, if you, this, this is a fairly new ROM. So if you want to see it in action, please watch that demo video because I have no idea what the problems are fully yet. I'm going to test them out because this is the first time I'm doing this myself. Um, but we won't finish just there. L let me actually let it run up properly and show you guys that it actually works. So give me like one second. Okay, so because I installed the ROM for the first time, it took about uh, three to four minutes to start up. And everything looks to be good so far. Uh, but I just need to prove to you guys that I'm actually running the ROM now in case there's any doubters. So I'm going to go to the system settings. About phone, okay. Model number is SGH-I727. That's the Skyrocket model, the at t model. Like I said, I'm running the Rogers model. Um, the reason it has that, be because it's a Skyrocket ROM, but it works in the Rogers version, okay? So there's the proof that I'm running the Galaxy S2. Uh, and there's Android 4.1.1. So it's the latest version of Jelly Bean as of today. Oh, I opened up the, well, I guess there's even more proof. I opened up the Easter egg by accident. Um, Come on, I want to do this really quick. The video is becoming too long. I'm sorry about that. I wanted to make the video very precise for the absolute newbies. And there you can see liquid smooth. Okay, so there's your proof. It, it works fine. Um, stick around for the annotation link for the demo video. And I hope that helps. If it did, feel free to check out my website in the description below. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button. It does help. And thanks for watching.